There are seven more vehicles left in this DLC and they're coming in drip feed and I'm showing them in this video. So you guys can get a good look at these cars and see how they drive. Hope they enjoy the video. The Impaler LX Cruiser. Now this is one that I think people are the least excited about. I think everyone's the least excited about this, but I'm I'm questioning these cop cars existence. I'm thinking these are definitely going to be vehicles that are going to be in GTA 6. But why do you need cop cars of each generation? Like from the 80s, from the 90s, from the 2000s, why do you need all of them? And the fact that these are going to be GTA 6 vehicles makes me question a lot of things. Is there going to be different timelines? I don't know. I normally say a lot of far-fetched things, but there doesn't seem to be a reasonable explanation for all these dated cars of each era. But I love this car, actually. Like, the suspension, and you guys know, like, the suspension on later release cars in GTA. Look at it. Look at it waft. It's so nice. Yeah, all these vehicles that seem to be released lately have nice suspension and I love it because it adds to the characteristics. With a lot of these cars you feel like you're in a, like an 80s movie and yeah it definitely encourages you to drive it rapidly with this wobbly suspension. It's actually a really nice car and it may deter you from buying the current police cars because you could just wait for this one. 4.8 million for a buy it now price and 3.6 million. Next up, we have the Castigator. You know what? D Rockstar did troll. Rockstar did troll, everyone, to be honest. But we haven't got many crossovers in the game. But like, yeah, you don't have many in the game. So it's a cool thing to add. <laughs> but yeah, I think Rockstar trolled everyone. I think they knew what they did here. Definitely, definitely. And fun fact, not a lot of people know. Not many people know. Every time I mention it to someone, they don't know. But you can actually get this car right now. By the way, I did add my hood option and i did add a splitter option here even though i'm supposed to be keeping these cars stock it does look really close to the actual avenger the <laughs> and this will cost 1.65 million um actually for an suv when it's fully upgraded it is quite fast yeah they needed to add some reason for this vehicle uh, the fact that they just trolled us all uh, yeah this whole dlc this whole dlc has just been Pedestrianized GTA 6 vehicles. That's the theme it seemed like they went for. It was like, let's make cars for GTA 6 and make GTA 5 players pay for it. And I think with the way everything's going in this DLC, current Trackhawk might never come. It might come only to GTA 6. It might bring the more pedestrianized vehicles to this game. And then for GTA 6, they'll bring the more desirable cars. But then again, they brought the i8 out, so. From like my statistics and like just looking across YouTube as well, this has been a low performing DLC for interest. Like not many people have been interested in this DLC. And Rockstar, being Rockstar nowadays, they actually made this thing look really close to the actual Jeep. The big obvious difference is the grill, not being that typical Jeep to grill. And then they have the wheels that I think are the same on the term, or a tiny bit different. And the Dominator FX Cruiser, weirdly, they brought a Fox Body Cruiser as well, which is actually kind of cool because a lot of the police vehicles are already existing in the game. And unfortunately, yeah, this is one of the seven vehicles. So it's not like we get two vehicles from one car, the Fox Body. And uh, yeah, definitely when you see the price of this thing, you'll know. For some reason, Rockstar don't mess about when it comes to cop cars. 4.95 million buy it now price and 3.712 million it's silly come on rockstar why why because people like cop cars and you haven't brought it in the game for so long decide to charge stupid amounts for it i i think it's just unfair it's just unfair and this right now has only one modification i had two modifications actually it has the livery first livery option and it has the first siren option as well i thought i'd leave at least the siren on there so we know is a cop car and that livery again i don't know if i said this in the intro but um i will be doing a video on these cars so customizing these cars so yeah a lot of people liked it when i did it in the last dlc so i'm going to do it in this dlc as well i'm going to show the customizations show what everything has you'll get an early look you can save up i guess for a certain vehicle if you like it and then realize maybe a certain car is not for you and you don't have to save up but yeah to drive I do like the LX Cruiser a lot more. Obviously, I do like the 80s Fox Body more as a car in general, but it's not as fun to drive as that LX Cruiser and that wafty suspension. And the feel it gives you of being in an 80s movie, it doesn't, this, this car, although it is an 80s car, doesn't give you that feeling. But I would rather buy this car because it is a Fox Body. And I do like the sirens. The sirens work on the rear lights too. 
they don't have any front options but then again we've not modified this thing so we don't know oh and the car we've all been waiting for waiting to see in this video but we, we will be waiting to see this in GTA Online. Can't wait to modify this vehicle. It's the vehicle I'm looking most forward to. It's such an amazing vehicle. You guys probably know easily is based off the AMG Hammer. Such a legendary car and such an expensive car too. And the torque in this game. I've got all modifications here. But this vehicle is not on low grips. It does have a lot of like first gear torque. <laughs> and it's cool. Oh, the double clutch on it is fast. Look at this thing, it's amazing. It drives so nice, like you will not be disappointed. At high speeds, it gets really sturdy. I say that whilst I'm sliding. But I don't know, wait, wait, wait. Let me just get out and admire this vehicle. I'm sorry that I'm not putting as much passion is it into the other vehicles, but when you like a certain car, when you grew up dreaming about a certain car and that comes to GTA, look at the wheels. Wow, wow, wow. Will we get the coupe? I don't know, but I definitely prefer this. Rockstar, what have you done? You've literally like duplicated a car here. There was no shame in this. Beautiful, beautiful. I might do a video like I did last year where I actually got the real life car from GTA 5 mods and then put them side by side. Oh, driving this car is so nice. Sorry. Why didn't they do this to the Sentinel? Why didn't they make the Sentinel very... I guess this is a V8 and it was very talky. And in real life, E30 M3 was not so talky. I'm literally driving it now and I still can't wait for it to be in my online garage. Do you know what? I need to pause with this and post it on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I, that literally was not a plug. I don't even plug my Instagram. But yeah, I'll just put it first link in the description. But yeah, if you're not one of them that is waiting for this vehicle to come out, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Like, I wish there was some flaw in this car, but there's not. There's no flaw. There's nothing bad I can say about this car. Like, it's so nice. It handles so nice. It looks so nice. It's got a few, quite a few mod Well, we'll get into that in a different video. But you have to buy it at 1.79 million. You have to buy it. Save up now if you haven't got the money. The Dominator FX. Another Dominator <laughs> in this DLC? Yeah, I mean, a, a, another addition to the Dominator. How many Dominators can there be? And the Dominator FX is going to cost 1.55 million. This car will be 1.55 million and I can't wait to customize this thing. I'm looking forward to it. Remember to subscribe, make sure you're like aware when I post these car modification videos. I'm so looking forward to that hammer. But then I think second comes this Fox body. The later Fox bodies used to be, uh, like I used to put them in car predictions all the time. And then when I stopped putting them in car predictions, they release it. It's almost like Rockstar just wait for when people are not expecting a car, then bring it. And to be honest, it feels a lot like the Cruiser. I don't know if I put that before or after, but the handling is so good for a, like a classic car. Like <laughs> maybe unrealistically good. Definitely has that oversteer and uh, it puts you in corners and it's easy to correct the vehicle once you go into corners. Like it's so predictable. It's got an oversteer that's not too snappy. That's easy to control and I definitely say there's more enjoyable vehicles to drive in this DLC. Let's just say I've had a sneak peek at modifications and this will be a cool one to modify when I do modify it. Yeah, I just did put a spoiler on there. And what can I really say? This is the pizza boy. Basically the Baggio Sport with a delivery service on there. And this is gonna cost 195,000 to 146,000 as, as a trade price. So I don't know how you're gonna get that trade price. There's not much to even say about this vehicle. There's no modifications. I don't know, do you wanna see me ride it? It's literally just a Fagiel Sport. Like, there's nothing special about its driving capabilities. Yeah, it's just the same. Pipistrello is in the game, nearly three million. I'm not gonna talk much on it. I just thought I'd leave it till the end because it's kind of already in the game for GTA Plus members. And um, for anyone else, they don't really get this until a later date. It's really unfortunate. Even as a GTA Plus member, I feel really guilty. And I feel like this is unfair. Because psychologically, it does play on you. And then tricks you into buying like GTA Plus. But anyway, it's got a cool wing. It's adaptable. Like the lights are cool. Like I showed you guys, if you watch the car meet. There we go. There's one little part of the light backlight there gone and i don't know it's satisfying to break thank you so much for watching and remember if you do want to see these cars being customized i will be uploading it so please make sure you subscribe if you're not already thank you for watching see you guys in the next one